Good evening and thanks for choosing ABC6. I'm James Wilcox. And I'm Robin Wolfram. Drug use among teens is a high profile public health concern, with one in eight teenagers admitting to abusing an illicit substance. Now, with regards to overdose deaths, the Minnesota Department of Health reports an increase of 27% from 2019 to 2020, going from 792 to just over 1,000 Minnesotans dying from an overdose. It is a growing problem, and area high school officials are taking notice. Beginning this upcoming school year, all school districts in Minnesota will be required to have a supply of overdose medication. ABC6 News reporter Rachel Mantoff spoke with a member of the Elbert Lee School Board about how this new law affects their district's policies. Overdose deaths among teens in Minnesota is becoming a real problem, with the number of deadly overdoses among that age group rising nearly 50 percent in the last year alone. To address the issue, the Minnesota legislature passed a bill requiring every school building to carry two doses of nasal naloxone. And now, Albert Lee Schools is updating their policy. Naloxone works by reversing the effects of opioids to stop an overdose. Naloxone is a relatively inexpensive medication that is simple to administer. It's safe and most importantly, it saves lives. Before the law change, only a handful of campuses in Albert Lee had the anti-overdose medication on hand. But at the most recent school board meeting, the policy was updated to require schools district-wide to have two doses of naloxone in accordance with the new law. They're getting inference from the state, and evidently the state is bringing down new mandates daily. The district is currently setting up a team for the implementation of the new policy in schools. It's expected to be made up of school nurses, the superintendent, and possibly some school board members and principals. It'll be a good policy. I can see the benefits of it. Uh, school districts are released from any liability if something would happen. Still, questions remain over the logistics of the policy and how it will be properly implemented. Are we going to need them in the field house? Uh, you know, at, at athletic events, are we going to need uh, a couple doses there? And if so, who's going to be the administrator of them when they're there? We don't know if we have to have them on school buses. This new policy aims to work as a safety net in response to the increasing amount of overdoses in young people across Minnesota and the nation. The end result? Hopefully, more young lives saved. In Albert Lee, I'm Rachel Mantos, ABC6 News.